How perfect is this picture? We are going to end this night with a special kanikau for my niece May, my Hanai niece, my Hanai nephew. No back should be facing us, please. All should be open. You go all that way. Half a moon, please. Yeah. The kanikau that you are about to hear is very, very old in the times of the kings and queens of Hawaii. When someone very special, the royalty, and the love of the people, they would come and do that special wailing. And they would chant the genealogy for weeks and days of the person that had uahala. Uahala means when a person has had their time spent, they have come, they have lived, and now they are going on their journey into that spiritual afterlife from the place from whence they come. And whether it is a Christian thing or it is a traditional thing, we all have special places that our families come from. We all have places that are sacred to each of the bloodlines that are in this circle of love. And May was a very, very special person and I met them about 10 years ago when my sons were younger and we were called to do the dedication of the waterfall of Haiku Plantation. And it was from that time that I met Bob and his beautiful wife. And that spiritual connection was there because of their love of the essence of the ancient prophets of Hawaii. Ne. And when he called me to share with me that my niece was sick, it sat in my heart. But we come, even in our time of sadness, to do something so unique that not many people do this. So it is our honor to have and be able to share with somebody who embraces the ancients of the old times. And this kanikau begins with the blowing of the pool, which my son will begin. <laughs> prophets of the bloodline of me and of all her family to come and pay their recognition of this time that she has deceased, but also to let people know Extended Ohana that we share. This we would like to introduce ourselves by chanting our come from the ancient appointed and anointed prophet. Of the lands are created of all these islands 
friends. Comes to share the tears. Because how the love of Bob and May had for his lands and their love and respect and aloha for all that he has created. We, his prophets, come to share. In this time of sadness, we share the greatness of the love that all of you share with Bob to support him in the passing of someone so dear. It is the ancients who will comfort you who will show you the true everlasting revelations of man in everything that she does and has done and will always do that will remind you of her. It is the stars that will shine upon this place here. It is the blessing of the rainbow that will drop here that will always show you the spirit of the loved one that will remain with you remain with you forever in your heart in this land with you each and every one of you who have come to be in this time of the celebration, to forever keep the celebration of her life and the blessing that she has shared with everyone, that the gods come and pay their respect to each and every one of you as the ancient prophets of her own bloodline. We thank you, we thank the gods, we thank the heavens, and we ask that the sweet peace of the living gods, the ancient prophets, forever be with all of you. Especially you, Bob. Your tears are sorrow. But never forget, and I know you will never forget the love. So unto you we share this unique gift. May it always remain in your hearts, your mind, your soul, and your strength. Aloha. My kai e launa me oi to all.